Hi guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and welcome to my first video of 2023. I was recently on a two week hiatus. I was on vacation back home for the holidays. I got back a day ago and I've been very busy since then. I'm in the middle of buying a new car so please bear with me and I do appreciate your patience and your understanding. I have many shows to catch up on starting with His Dark Materials. This is my episode review for episodes five and six of his dark materials now since these dropped a few weeks ago you guys have probably seen them already but in case you haven't this is a spoiler filled review discussing spoilers from both episodes so if you're not cut up on his dark materials like i am because i still have the final two episodes to watch and enjoy this is a spoiler filled review so you have been warned that being said let's dive right back into it and happy new year by the way so, I really, I mean, I liked uh, episode five quite a bit. You know, it was, it felt like it was more of an exploratory episode, just figuring, figuring out what exactly the Land of the Dead is, which was cool. There was no shortage of really cool, scary looking creatures, those tortoise head vulture looking things. Speaking of cool creatures, we got to see Mary thriving in her new environment and we got to see a cool montage of her learning the language of these uh, taper looking creatures and she was finally able to figure out that uh, they are dying because dust is being um, vacuumed from their world or something like that. Like it's it's going up into the air or something. So it was nice to spend some time with Mary who hasn't gotten a whole lot of screen time this season, but it seems like she's found her purpose. She knows where she's supposed to be and what she's supposed to do. And that is save this race of creatures from going extinct, which is ironic because they kind of look like creatures that have got went extinct years ago. I can't remember what they're called, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So episode five was very good it was nice to see roger again great seeing lee at the very end of it too that was a real hoot i love seeing lynn Mo manuel miranda or is it miranda manuel okay you know who i'm talking about lee scoresby it's great seeing him again even though if it was at the end of the episode but boy season uh, season six episode six wow that was a great episode they covered and addressed so much and so much happened asriel and yorick uh mrs coulter escaping the magisterium getting back to asriel's republic the death of the fanatical uh father uh, what was it father mcpale no not mcpale um Daphne Keene's real life father, <laughs> that guy. You know, he, I was like, huh, I thought he would die closer to the end of the season, but I guess uh, this is his big death episode. It was a good demonstration of how, just how much his fanaticism had driven him to the brink of no return by sacrificing himself so this damn bomb could be used to track down and presumably destroy Lyra. You know what, if it was gonna track her down and kill her, what better place to do it than in a place that's already filled with dead people, the land of the dead. And thankfully the bomb didn't kill her or will, or nobody else for that matter, because they're all ghosts. So that worked out. Um, great episode. And then we learned not to judge a book by its cover with the scary tortoise vulture looking creatures actually being misunderstood, somewhat reluctant, almost prison guards to this place that is either purgatory or the afterlife. It's not heaven and it's certainly not hell, although it's hellish looking. And I guess they're, they were there to keep everybody in, but Lyra discovered that if you tell not only the ghosts of the dead stories from the living world, but if you tell them to the creatures as well, they were willing enough to help everybody escape the land of the dead. And then Will's knife started working again, so that was handy too. I really hoped Lee would appear in the final battle, like in the next two episodes, you know, even though he was a ghost, somehow show some kind of support, maybe briefly reunite with Yorick. I don't know. But it seems like he's now disintegrated away back into being dust. But um, it was nice to see him and get the scenes that we did with him. Speaking of great scenes, it was really fun to see Will reunite with his father, get a sense of closure for Will, having his dad tell him that he's proud of him, he's better than he was. Very touching, excellent stuff. 
And then we seem to have tur turned a new chapter in the uh, Azriel and Mrs. Coulter relationship as well. It sucks about the Queen Witch. I did not like seeing her go. That was very sad. But at least they brought Serafina back into the picture. But I was sad to see uh, Ruda or Rupa, the Queen Witch, go out like that. That was um, not very good. It was a big character death on the good guy side of things. But I think the witches remain loyal to Azrael's cause, so that's good. I am curious, though, if Azrael went to Yorick to recruit the Armored Bears for their coming battle with the Angels, who seem to have taken a huge interest, or at least uh, felt threatened enough to activate that bomb to kill Lyra, as the prophecy seems to be coming true, which should bring about the end of the regent who currently rules heaven, the very man that Azrael's trying to defeat. So now it feels like the pieces are coming together, which means that the next two episodes are probably going to be amazing. And I'm looking forward to that. So what did you guys think of episodes five and six? Did you like it? Did you hate them? Were you expecting more, expecting less? Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Have a wonderful rest of your night. His Dark Materials has now wrapped its third and final season all episodes are streaming on hbo max i will watch the next the final two episodes when i have a chance thank you so much for bearing with me and for your patience i hope you had a wonderful holiday season and i hope you have an even better 2023 take care everyone thanks for watching and of course until next time may the force be with you